The Bakersfield Museum of Art is about to debut their new fall exhibits, and this morning we're getting a sneak peek at all that. Very exciting stuff. Campy Brown finding out all about the samurai swords and other art that will be on display starting tomorrow. I'm not going to lie, Camby, a little worried about you close to a samurai sword. Or around art. I know. <laughs> hey, I just, that's funny, I just told them I'm like a four-year-old child whenever I get into a museum. Like, I just want to go and touch everything. But we're going to get to that in a second because guess what? They have a new exhibit where you can touch things. Okay, I got to show you this though, guys. Can you tell what this is made out of? And this what is especially is for of? our director. What is that made of? Hmm. That's made of orange peels. Yes. You kind of gave good. it away every when you morning, mentioned the director. Yes, because every morning in our morning meeting, our director, Brian, always peels an orange and has the peels. So maybe he can make one of these. This shows you what you can do with a lot of free time and orange peels. You guys have a lot of new exhibits that you guys have going on here for fall. And you guys have something different that you're doing about letting the kids touch everything and the adults, because let's face it, I want to touch everything in here. What is this new exhibit that you guys have in here? Um, this is work from the BC and Cal State faculty art department. So it's we're really highlighting and celebrating art educators in our community. So it's a really eclectic mix of work. We have have a lot of different um, mixed media installation projects, um, installation pieces, um, mixed media pieces. So yeah, let's talk about eclectic. <laughs> LJ, can you show this green blob with these red guys on it? It's a little freaky. Uh, I would not want to be here it, at night. If those things came alive, that's a little scary, but it's just different people's interpretation. Right, Vicki? Right. All right, now let's go on over to the uh, the touch table over here, LJ, so we can kind of show um, what people can do when they come in. What gave you the idea to do this touch table over here? Well, we know that a lot of parents come with their kids, a lot of kids come to the museum, and that is something that they want to immediately do is touch the artwork, and we always say, you know, look with your eyes, not with your hands. Well, in this exhibit, we wanted to create an, an interactive piece and also to, to educate people and uh, on, on, you know, wh what they're looking at and what it was composed of and, you know, the materials that were um, used to create these pieces. So you actually can go to this table and um, there are also little information cards that let people know what the artists used and, and why they were inspired to use it and then and touch the materials. Okay, I love it. And here's those orange peels. Um, that we just that we just showed over there, and um, mm -hmm. check out these doll feet. Uh, so we're gonna uh, coming up. We're gonna show you more uh, that they have for the fall exhibit um, out here at the Bakersfield Museum of Art. If people want to come out and check this out, how much is it to get in? It is ten dollars to get in. Um, the doors open at six o'clock tomorrow night, um, six to eight. All right, perfect. And they are at 19th and R if you want to come check them out. And uh, coming up, we do have uh, the samurai swords. Uh -oh. And yes, I will be holding a uh -oh. samurai sword. Camby, was that I'm a ready. doll arm that you picked up? <laughs> yeah, actually, I think it was a doll foot. Oh, it's a leg. That's a little creepy. Oh, yeah, okay, that's actually more than a little creepy. I know, creepy, it is a little creepy. That's why I picked it up to show you guys. I guess art is in the eye of the beholder. All right, Camby, thank you very much. I'm going to introduce you to art. Uh, he used to be an art yes. teacher. Isn't that crazy? It's like they he had knew. no choice but they to knew. like art. They knew. Exactly. Kevin, how exactly. tall is it's Art? Because you're pretty tall yourself, and he's. I know, I know. Art, how tall are you? 6'4". Uh, were you ever the basketball coach? Yeah, that's how I started, actually. Uh, in fact, uh, I wasn't an art teacher. They hired me to coach basketball first and shoved me in an art room just because they figured I, I wouldn't mess up too many kids there. <laughs> and uh, it turned out to be a passion. So. Yeah, and, and, you, and you have this on display at the Bakersfield Museum of Art. An entire exhibit is yours. And this is, let's talk about this piece really quick because when you first see this, I mean, you're, I mean I'm drawn to it, but there's actually something else inside uh, the art as well that you've kind of done. Tell us about this. Yeah, well, within the people are all drawn with people. And so if you see the elderly man and you look at the uh, look at him, he's drawn in older people and they're working in the garden. And, and uh, then the child, if you look at him, he's, he's drawn with little kids and even the dogs drawn with dogs. And I was asking you earlier, you know, what inspired you? And you said you. And this was before I actually got to see the exhibit. So this is actually people from around town, right, that you, that you see and then that inspires you to draw. Well, these are people from all over California, they are all are people that I have 
uh, either interacted with or have passed through my life. There's no doubt. Okay, and let's go down here, LJ, really quick so we can show these students from Stockdale High. The names of this is period one and period two, and you can kind of just see all the different personalities pretty much that you had to put up with. Yeah, well, they're good people, but uh, it, it was always intrigued me that there's so, I looked at my classroom and there's kids from every part of the world in that class and uh, all the personalities and, and that's what this show is about, embracing difference and, and, uh, and just enjoying everybody's uniqueness. And let's do the last one over here, LJ, if you'll come this way. Um, or I'm gonna have you stand right here, and LJ, if you can just come in and show these ones, uh, because this is really unique, and probably, I have to tell you, my favorite out of all of them, just because of kind of what it brings out in the people. And you did something interesting with this, so explain what this one is. Well, these were drawn with ruler lines, and if, if you first of all looked at the piece that's two pieces down, those are a group of elderly men in San Francisco that I ran across. And if you notice all the lines, one after another, and that's just like their lives, they're layered for all the years they've lived. And then and if you look at the kids. Yes, the kids, there's few layers, and you can see they're more alive and their bodies are raising up against their defined gravity. And so this is kind of a statement of life and, and the layers of life and uh, it's just my way of uh, expressing it. All right, and if you want to see more art from art, check out the Bakersfield Museum of Art. That's here at 19th and R. Guys? Phenomenal stuff. Thank you very much. Uh-oh. Do you see that, John? Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, now things just Just keep the scarier. sheath on it. That way you won't hurt anybody. Uh, Cammy Brown no. is holding a samurai sword. I told you on Facebook it was about to happen, and, well, it's happening now. Are you ready for this? I don't think I am, no. Well, it's happening whether you're ready or not. Oh, oh. Da -na -na. who's right next to you? Uh, Careful, because I want to tell him Robin. to tell Robin to Robin? step aside a little Yee. bit. Does Watch this out. does this make you nervous? It, it does, actually, mm -hmm. it does completely. Mm -hmm. He's nervous, guys. Mm -hmm. I would be uh, too. We're about to we're about to cut some stuff. Oh. All right. First, let me tell you what we're doing here. We're at the Bakersfield Museum of Art, and uh, they have a new exhibit, the Samurai Exhibit, which is in here. You can see it if you come to the Bakersfield Museum of Art for their fall exhibit uh, tomorrow, 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. You can check all this out. But this is something that you may have never seen before. What are you going to be showing us, Robin? We're going to be showing you uh, some ancient Japanese martial arts uh, date back about 500 years. Um, I think you guys will have a good time. Okay, we're excited to see this. Let me just show you my moves really quick. How was that? Fantastic. Yeah, I probably could kill someone like that. Yeah. Right at you. All right, let me show you. Uh, let me have them take it away. So go ahead and show us this, Robin. Oh, let me grab this for you. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Almost cutting myself here. I need all my limbs. Yeah, go ahead. And so, guys, this is, they're actually um, showing us this, and uh, they, they're not going to actually be doing this at, if you come to the museum, but it's something similar to this that you guys can check out. By, um, by seeing this. And Eric, exactly what is this that you guys are doing? What's it called? This is called uh, Tamesigiri Practice Cutting. Okay. And you guys do this how often? Uh, we try and cut uh, about every couple of months. Uh, it requires a certain amount of practice. Um, what exactly is it that he's cutting off? Uh, they're tatami mats. They're straw mats. They're traditionally used for Japanese flooring. Okay, and it's a certain way that you guys, that you guys, uh, you know, cut it off, and each one kind of looks a little different. So what, what's the goal for doing this? Uh, the goal is just to make a clean cut uh, all the way through. They're diagonal cuts from either side and uh, flat cuts uh, from either side also. Okay, awesome. All right, guys, if you want to come check this out, um, we're trying to recruit them to come tomorrow, uh, 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock, so that they can demonstrate this at the Bakersfield Museum of Art. But you can also see the exhibit and see the real-life samurai swords, although you will not be able to hold them like this. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, mm -hmm. nah. I gotta dun, say, dun, Camby, nah. uh watching the cuts, very impressive, but gave me even more reason to be nervous about you having yeah. that in your hand right now. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I was hoping maybe, maybe they just gave you like a dummy sword, like right. not, not a real one Plastic. so you couldn't hurt someone. Apparently Back that's not the case. All, All right. <laughs> Every time I see this photo pop up, I get a little nervous. Yes. She's got a samurai sword, folks, and uh, I'm a little nervous even though I'm in studio.
Yeah, you should be nervous. Uh, this is basically a typical Wednesday morning. Just me hanging out with the samurai sword. Right, right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, oh we, apparently you're not alone. Yeah, Jason has one too. I know. Uh, he's getting in on the action too. Uh, what are they demonstrating right now, Don? They're demonstrating from Bakersfield Budu, one of the only uh, a few uh, sword fighting schools in this whole area, a Japanese uh, sword art of Iaido. And this is one of the techniques that we train in uh, is one-on-one -on -one with wooden swords. Obviously, steel swords might be a little dangerous here, but that's what they're working with, with swords right now. Okay, yeah, because we don't want to kill anyone today, but we do want to demonstrate. And this is all happening at the Bakersfield Museum of Art. And the reason that they're out here this morning demonstrating this is because you guys have a new fall exhibit premiering tomorrow. We're getting the sneak peek. Thank you so much for letting us come in early this morning. What is the, can people going to see from this new exhibit? The new exhibit, it's called Lethal Beauty. It's, it's a real gem to have here in the community. It's um, a traveling exhibit from the Clark Center for Japanese Art and Culture. It's uh, ancient artifacts dating back to 13th century. Oh, wow. wow. So these things are actually used in battle. We have full-on armor, full-on weaponry. Um, also, for kids, we're going to have a little surprise. Kids oh. can be a samurai here. Ooh, kids can be a samurai. I love it. Uh, how cool do you feel holding the sword right now? I feel pretty cool. Now, Layla and John, who do you think would win against me and Jason with the swords? Who do you think? Uh, I'm sorry, against you and who? And Jason right oh, here, who do, you, who do you think I'm, will win? You know what? I'm actually going to go for Jason. I was going to go Jason, too. Yeah, yeah. love you. <laughs> they keep saying, pick me, you stinker. Hey, also, guys, I have to tell you, um, we have a very special person watching, Jason's mom, and it is her birthday. Oh, so happy yes. birthday. Hey, happy birthday, mom. Love you. Oh, wait, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Christine. Christine, happy birthday, Christine. Hey, by the way, didn't Jason's mom ever tell him to not play with sharp objects? And he's standing here on TV yeah, holding yeah. a samurai yeah, sword. Yeah, she probably mom. did. And yeah. because it's her birthday, I'm not going to cut him. Oh, thank oh, you, Kim. Wow, very nice. So generous. All right. Nice. 6.39 is the time.